Hi, John Valdano here. Uh, my real-time operating systems class has an annual road race. Uh, on each of the robots are two Cortex-M4 processors uh, and a real-time operating system. Uh, the robots are connected with a controller area network and they are running autonomously. The goal of the project is to race as fast as possible and of course don't hit the wall. Uh, the operating systems uh, were created by the students themselves. Here we are. Um, ready to race? And they're off. Here we are, coming down the straightaway. Each of the robots has up to eight sensors, and these sensors can measure the distance to the wall. So the robot should know where it is, of course. Better to go slow and not hit the wall at all, I say. Precision machine rolling right down the middle of the road. It's much better on my motors if you don't hit that wall. Swing is this bumper cars? Oh, nice pass. Um, okay. So this got uh, MOSFETs on that bridge right there? Yep. Yeah, I imagine. All right. See some passing right by, right by. See you, Bosch. What's on there? What kind of power drivers you got? They have a MOSFET S-bridge. Ah, uh, nice. And they're using two pink sensors for the front. All right, can we see the pink? Yep, two. All right. They have OIR sensors on the left and right and on the front. All right. OK, what kind of driver do you have on yours? Both. We actually have both. We have H-bridge, uh, IC chip, and, and the, the H-bridge uh, MOSFET. Both. And you it's set by these jumpers. headers. And, and you can switch. jumper them both. Yeah. you got two launch pads on there. How are they connected up to each other? Uh, just through a CAN. Through a CAN network? Yeah. yeah. Does your operating system crash? No. No? Did your robot crash? Probably. No. <laughs> yeah, probably. Nice. Okay, so this is Robot UR2, and why did it get its name? <laughs> because it's the origin of all 5M projects. Oh, nice. All right, so uh, start with the power. What are these big chips right here? So we have uh, six MOSFETs. Six. Um, nice. Six, per, six per motor. Okay. And so back here we have the IR filters. Okay. So why did you filter? What kind of filter is it? It's a three-pole bezel EF, mm -hmm. 10 hertz. Nice. So you get a nice clean signal. Yeah, so no, no digital focus at all. Okay. So you have two uh, launch pads. Yep. How are they connected? Here's the CAN network. All right, point to where's the CAN right there? Right here. Oh, nice. All right, so let's uh, we'll flip it over. Let me see the bottom. All right, you got two motors down there. Nice, uh, nice mechanicals. Uh, what's the thing in the front for? Oh, it's it's when, when it reverses, so it doesn't fall forward all the way. Nice, nice. Good work. Uh, all right, so uh, good luck on uh, Friday when we go to go to finals. Nice fast robot. And what did you learn? Uh, what? <laughs> you tried it and it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, things don't make let us go fast. I asked pretty good. And All right, so you learned that sensors are important in yeah, a robot. Very important. Yes, nice. So, what's your robot's name? C130 Hercules. Hercules. Yeah. All right, so tell me what you got on this robot. We've got a MOSFET H bridge that right. was designed by a wonderful Z. Z, did it finally work? Who made a How many times did you come to my office, Z? Uh, three times. Three so. times. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We've you got built some it? analog filters hiding under here. Oh, nice. And why? Why? Oh, uh, for uh, for the IR sensors. Oh, to yeah. make nice sensors. Sensor. Nice. We've got an array of of uh, what do you call them? IR, IR sensors. Yeah. Nice. And some decorative ping sensors. Decorative ping sensors. Are you and you like the IR sensors? Why? 
Um, because they handle angled uh, walls better. Oh, okay. So your advice is to stay with the IR and don't use the ping? I don't know. I think the pings have some value, but you have to figure out how to use them. Exactly. Okay. And we... All right, so... Time is the limiting factor. All right, well, good luck on Friday. Okay. Make it into the finals, all right? Yes, we will. All right. Hi. Here we are at the end. Uh, you want to show me your robot? Sure thing. Yeah. yeah, what do we got here? This is our robot, Megazord. Megazord. It nice. uses five sensors, four IRs, and one ping at the front. Oh. Uh, the ping is just for uh, wall detection okay. and robot detection, whereas these two are for PID. Loop. Nice. And then this is to handle uh, when we detect a wall or a robot, which direction we should turn. Ah, good. So what did you learn? Uh, we learned a lot of various things, uh, teamwork, uh, how to use the uh, ping and IR sensors, how to integrate them, actually how to make them faster, um, how to do motor control. We actually have two speeds, slow speed and fast speed, okay. and then we actually have a, um, a turning weight. So instead of saying go forward and just turn immediately, we actually accumulate a variable that actually determines which side we are leaning towards, okay. and then turn towards that direction. Nice. Yeah. Thanks again. Thank yeah, thank you. And we're off. Come on, here we go. Watch out for the wall. All right, here we are in race day. It's the finals. Winner take all. Here comes UR2. Don't hit the wall. Nice. Nice. That's not friendly driving. <laughs> Get out of the way. Fast robot coming through. Get out of the way. Whoa. All right, coming through. Coming through. Coming through. All right, so here we are in the last day. Uh, we play run three races, the highest score of the three go on to the, um, uh, to the finals. So this is our last regular race. Seven, three, two, one, go. Here we are, the last race. Winner takes all. Here we are. Pass, nice pass. Last race. Winner takes all. Direction nine. 138, 85. Here we are. One direction. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. 130, 10. Yes. Nice move. 130, 20. One direction, 9. 30, 18. One direction, 31. Here we are, and we did it. All right, and the winner is UR2 with a score of 32, winning the final race in grand fashion. See you next year.